What up, everybody? It's your boy, the greatest song guest. So, we in a building today. We're about to react to I'm Kevin. Solo leveling reverse jumpings are insane because they are. This last episode went wild. Wild. I read it. So, I know how wild it's going to get. It's going to get even crazier. But this is one of the craziest episodes up to date. Um, make sure I know it gets better and better as it goes. So, it's going to get crazier from here. On that note, let's, uh, let's begin. So I don't know how long this time skip was between episode 4 and 5, but this is not the same person. He had the entire hospital, the whole staff team fiending. Shorty right here was like, nah, I bet that nigga's chopped. Walked up on him, boom, starstruck. And look at her asking for the number when she was just hating. But sadly for her, she doesn't seem to know the rules. To even be considered as an option, you need to either have dyed hair or some form of swag. And frankly, you have none. Head back to the locker room. You can't even be a bench warmer. Now, one thing I noticed about anime is that you'll get one of these two types of worlds. The first being that bills just don't exist. Exist. They be laying on the couch scratching their ass, living like a straight up bum. That's a fact. Bills do not exist in some anime worlds. But somehow still has running electricity. Bro, I just bumps. don't get it. Or you get the Peter Parker treatment. They be on your ass about that rent 24-7. And unluckily for our boy Jin, he got that Peter treatment. And considering he's a hunter, he only knows one way how to get that bread. So he met up with this group of hunters to go explore the C-Rank dungeon. And since Jin is still considered an E-Rank hunter, his only job is to be the bag boy. Mm -hmm. And there's also this D-Rank hunter, which I'm assuming is going to be like his first friend or something. You know, he got all the requirements filled out the swag the colored hair he even got a fade to secure his screen time so they made it into the dungeon and right away things seemed wrong there was no monster trying to attack them but if i'm Jin, i'm demanding a pay raise because if he ain't yell out where they were coming from they would have been doomed so they pretty much took care of all the monster but then this dude noticed that some of these ants got mean bite marks on them obviously no sword doing shit like that which means there's a bigger creature lurking around and this is when Jin started to get a little more suspicious this group was moving a little too weird for his liking so then they came across the boss arena and was greeted with a cave full of mana crystals this is a bag bag and i already messed with bro right here because before like, walking into the cave Jin had to sign a contract saying he doesn't get a share of any of the battle loot but homeboy was like hold on let me see that contract real quick walked up on a boss and was like yeah these crystals not battle loot so you gotta split it with my nigga Jin. he just met him and is already looking out but this next part right here can be classified as anime I'm not gonna lie, he's a real one. I really like the character. I like him a lot. But we're gonna, we gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Made dumb shit. So they he's quote crazy. unquote left the transport stuff behind and now they gotta go get it. Oh, but we need you two and only you two to stay back and keep watch. A nigga like me will not allow such tomfoolery. But surprise, right. surprise, they ended up getting trapped in a boss room. But not gonna lie, I'm messing with this new gen. He said, step aside, little bro. I got this one. Hold up, let me lock in real quick. Ran in, did zero damage, but he was like, oh damn, is the camera on me? We're called hunters for a reason. And the real hunt begins now. Oh, cool ass. And bro, there was no type of breeze this whole time. Where did that wind come from? Nigga got mother nature on paper. It's, it's his energy, bro. It's his or his or reeks swag, bro. That his or reeks of swag. Bro. So then it cuts the dude schmoving. Meanwhile, yeah. homeboy is just sitting in shock. And honestly, I can't blame him. Because in this world, there's people known as false rankers. Which are people who control their power level so they can register as a lower rank. And pretty much these false rankers are known to catch bodies for the hell of it. And the way this so-called E-rank is moving? Shit, I would have thought the same thing. And this dude deadass has a fatigue meter. And I don't know if that's a good thing or bad. Because if it gets too high, he's pretty much whole. But then he finally realized with only the deluxe edition he has his op as weapon and boom that's the game plan the moment he gets to the spider's weak spot is ggs he activated his speed skill and that boy was gone even had the spider confused dashed in and once again did zero damage jumped off and hit a couple backflips because you know cool niggas do backflips and look at the maneuvers would have thought yorichi taught his ass the way he flashed up and uh, he was only getting faster from there bro was trying to tap yeah, into the speed force yeah. until he got hold and right when he was about to get bodied, he is so lucky he had that full recovery. The spider ain't even know where that nigga was at. Came from the top ropes, pussy. 
and this is why the dagger is OP. Every single hit is a guaranteed debuff of paralysis and drain, but now the gang of defaults finally made their way back, and the first thing they did was order homeboy to kill Jin Woo, but he said, man, you got me fucked up. If you gonna kill him, you gotta get through me first. They started walking up on him, and to be honest, y'all are not intimidating. Could have at least got the battle pass to have some type of drip, and homeboy in the back. That's a fact. Trolls armor look better than every last one of theirs. That you might as well walk off the screen. That fro is doing you no justice. No justice. That's when Jin got a notification, pretty much telling him to kill them all. Wizard ain't waste no time. Instantly shot, bro. But I swear, every episode this dude Jin has an eternal monologue, pretty much saying fuck humanity. But right. then something clicked in his head, telling him that for whatever reason, this level up system wants to keep him alive. Mm -hmm. He said, if the system gonna use me, then fuck it. I'll use it too. And I don't know what type of aura this is, cause this is different from what he had last yeah. time. Then dude walked up on him with arm over shoulder and all just started yapping fuck out my ear little nigga <laughs> that's one and it's the fact that he did it so smooth like he just like a little twist mm, get out of there bro one and this dude got a crossbow with a switch but jen said get them weak ass arrows on ha you simpletons weave that's two. Off the top ropes like you finna do some. Caught the arm. That's three. And don't worry, you gonna feel it in a second. Oh! Had to finish the job. And you wanna know what I call this next move? Speed blitz. That's four. Oh, this again? Weave. Last Dumbass. That's five. And then the boss thought he was different using that Timu Kyle Ken talking about how yeah. Jin only has speed. Yeah, I. I guess you're strong, but I just put all five fingers on your face, nigga. You're cooked. And Jin just acquired his standard of gang certification. Welcome to the family. And then bro started pleading for his life, but I nigga Jin ain't hearing none of that. Three. Three times you try to kill me. What I look like giving you mercy. What happens in a dungeon stays in a dungeon, fuck nigga. And the worst part is they couldn't even collect the check because whenever you kill the boss, the dungeon collapses. But let me keep it real with y'all for a sec. At first, I thought this show was going to be mid. Episode 2 definitely caught my attention, but now that I know they're going to keep yeah. that same type of energy, I'm way more invested. Because let's keep it a buck. In a lot of other shows, the main character would have found some Disney-friendly way to get out of that situation. They would have been like, oh... And maybe if I just knock him out, I'd be safe. But nah, Jim was like, well, damn. It's my life or yours, and nigga, I'm picking mine. But yeah, bro. I also want to thank y'all for 100K. I never thought it would have came this far, but I got to let y'all know how much I appreciate y'all for real. But till next time, though, gang. You know, you, you know I made it that far. But on that note, I want to let y'all know if you have any recommendations, leave them down below. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, uh, please. On the road to 300. <laughs> I still ain't forget the, um, the, the giveaway. I'm going to do a live stream about that. I'm just going to pick um, some subscribers' names. Or probably the most active subscriber. And I might just give them a $50 Amazon gift card. Yeah, that's what I might do. Most active subscriber. So, on that note, I um, want to say thank y'all. Appreciate y'all. On that note, I am out. Peace.